What's happening? New episode of vlogs. It's your homeboy, Mr. Capone. And today's topic, you know, I'm trying to do vlogs here and there, different things I see pop up in there and that, so I have to bring it up. Uh, today's topic will be Lefty is a Mexican. Uh, before I start, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, I try to do one every other week, you know, whatever I see is going on and just dabble whenever I'm up in the studio. So uh, today's topic is Lefty isn't Mexican. He's not Mexican, blah, blah, blah. All right. So uh, before we start, this is an interesting subject, and I feel like I think I should speak on it because it's a lot of... Uh, it's a lot of things that I've been hearing for years about stuff. And a lot of people, the internet, they don't understand and different that. Now, for facts of, I don't know, I could be wrong. I don't know if Lefty claimed he was Mexican. He says, I'm Mexican. I don't know. Some people, he might, he might say that. Some, he might not. I don't know. But when it comes to me, there's always people false flagging on me. Telling that I'm doing this. I'm claiming this. I'm claiming that. Never once did I claim what I ain't. You can't find no documents of me saying that. You don't see me saying it in a song. Nothing like that. Um, I, sp I spit English lyrics. Does that make me from England? No. I threw some Spanish in some of my songs. That makes me from Spain or Mexico or any uh, Latin American countries? No, it doesn't either. Uh, I have a bunch of different languages in my song, but does that make me from anywhere? No. But... The topic today is lefty is a Mexican, so I feel like it's correlated and related to the same subject. Before I speak on that, first of all, he's from Avaru, he's from Southern California, and if you know if you're from Southern California and you're from a hood, you already know what time it is, um, how it, it started, and if you know, it's been history documented that there's been a lot of people from Asians to... Um, Armenians to Middle Easterns to Black African Americans whites that's been in the whole Southern California and a lot of people get misconception that they think that's just a Mexican thing. It's raised in the Mexican umbrella, but at the end of the day, it's a bottle where you're from is where you at. You know what I'm saying? So it's branded like that. California obviously was once Mexico. So you could technically say California is Mexico. So California is going to have huge influence of where it comes from. So when you say the cities in, in California, Los Angeles, Los Angeles, that's a Mexican, Spanish, Spaniard word. When you say San Diego, you already know what it is. I mean, I can go, I can go on and on saying different cities, San Luis Obispo, I mean, San Fernando, La Fuente. Look, at these are all Spanish names in Southern California. Now, you go to a different state like Atlanta, you're going to hear that many Spanish names like that because this is California, so you won't hear that. And this is the culture. The, the culture is breeded on uh, basically that. So when people are from a neighborhood, you quickly assume that they're from a Mexican hood which is a Mexican hood, but it's technically not a Mexican thing. So Lefty, he's from a Mexican neighborhood. He's from a model in the SGV, a ballpark, KHA. And obviously, you would think he's Mexican, but if you really go down to it and you check out all kinds of the homies, they're not all Mexican. So for people to say, hey, he's claiming he's Mexican because he's an Amaro, you got it wrong. A lot of fools are not Mexican descent from Amaros. We already know who who started this OG jail stuff, um, and you know what he is, you feel me? So um, if you know in the pen the history of the whole Southern California movement who started all this big thing, you already know what he is. At the end of the day, from the Balkans, you know, if you know where the Balkans at, between Middle East and Eastern Asia, so that's one of the guys who kind of started the whole uh, unity of the Southern California. Um, so Lefty, I don't even know what he is. Some say he was white, and some say he's have Guatemalan in him too. But whatever he is, he's a homie. Now, is he Mexican? Did he claim he's Mexican? I don't know that part. And if he did, you guys can correct me that he said, yo, I'm Mexican, and he's claiming that he's Mexican. That's, that's a different story, and that's not for me to speak on because if they claim it, I don't know. You have to ask them why they claimed it if they're not, right? Now, 
in history of this whole um, hip hop industry, acting, movie industry, music in general from Mexico. Let's just go to Mexico and, and start from right there in Mexico. Peso Pluma. His name is Hassan. His, his parents, his dad is from a Lebanese descent. Obviously, he lives in Mexico. He, he cultured in Mexico. He's part Mexican now. Like me, I got primos that are like Mexican. But at the end of the day, his name is Hassan and he's Lebanese, right? His father is Lebanese. So it don't matter Mexico. He's a national. He lives there. He grew up there. So they don't they don't look at that as like, hey, what the hell? You know, in a Chicano rap game, people say difference this and that. But at the end of the day, a lot of these artists are not fully Mexican or half Mexican or whatever they are, right? Like Lefty Gunplay, like some say he's white in Guatemala. He, he might not have, he might have 0% Mexican. I mean, some people have 50% Mexican. Some people don't have none. I mean, those artists goes down the line. I mean, look at we have in our circle, like I can tell you from my circle alone, I had homies that were Cuban, that were doing music, like rappers. Name. I don't want to say everyone's names, but let's just throw some names out there. Like there's Stomper. He was Asian. He was half Asian. Um, some people might have not known that. You know what I'm saying? But he's a homie, so we don't look at him nothing else. He's from a barrio, blah, blah, blah. Um, we, I just told you about Peso Pluma in that music industry. Look at the actress. There's Salma Hayek. She's Lebanese, also descent. Um, the richest man in Mexico, Carlos Slim. He's Lebanese descent. Um, Mr. Capone, you already know me. Uh, stands. And if you want to know about me, like I said, there's a CD audio book out about me that I made 200 copies and it sold. So people who ask dumb questions are idiots. But once again, I'm from the stands. If you don't know where that is, that's Central Asia, South Central Asia. Um, I can go on, just got to see the book. You see these fighters now, they're popping up out of those areas, uh, like from Dagestan to uh, all those artists from over there, uh, fighters from over there. Um, you've seen about um, the war with USA and Afghanistan. Like, these are the stand areas. You've seen the fight that happened just recently. Crawford, he fought someone from the stand. You've, you've seen Bivol fight. Canelo, that guy was from Kyrgyzstan. So it's the stands, Central South Asia um, people. But, you know, at the end of the day, people say, like, crazy stuff. Arab, you're Arab, or I'm Armenian. and You know, the, the, the list goes on, but whatever. I, I ain't even tripping on that. I'm a homie. I know who I am. It is what it is. I don't claim nothing else, but just do my thing. But that's just in general. Like, there's so many artists that are different race, and I can... I, I can just start naming so many artists, man. Like, I can just go down. You know, you see Swifty Blue, Salvadorian. There's a lot of Salvadorians in the game. I mean, there's a bunch of names I could keep going on with the list. But I'm not going to keep saying less to make it seem like in a derogatory or less way or anything. At the end of the day, just to let you people know that when I see people tripping out about that, I'm like, what's it a trip about? He's from a home. He's from a hood. He's from a barrio. He rolls with the homies. He rolls with a lot of Mexicans. He rolls with a lot of people from Varro. Probably half of them could be Mexican or maybe more. I don't know. You know, at the end of the day, he's from Varro. So California is Mexico at the end of the day. He's from the Mexican state of California, Califas. I mean, this is Mexico. So if you're from California in general, you are basically Mexico. You're in Mexico. Obviously, now you're in the United States because the United States took over. California, whatever, blah, 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 but it is still, at the end of the day, look at the influences, look at the city names, like I told you, all the city names have Mexican names in it, I can just go on and on and say these cities' names, and you'll be like, oh, shit, that sounds, me oh, damn, that's Mexican, you feel me, Mira Loma, I can keep going on, right, so, yeah, man, uh, that's the whole thing about lefty and Mexican, I just want to address it to the issue of, like, when I seen some negativities about that, I very felt very, uh, kind of disrespected because homies put it on for the, the whole, the culture, Southern California. I like to call it Southern California. I, that's that's how I do it. I call it Southern California. I call it the Stilo, uh, and I represent it to the fullest. And I know Lefty does represent it to the fullest. But when some people come with that negative hate, he ain't Mexican. Like that, you watch the movie American Me or uh, Blood and Blood, I forgot which mo movie. There's this one fat dude, he's just like, 
hey, dog, but he ain't Mexican. And then the other guy goes to him, but you know what? He's my biggest crime partner. And you know the story about the story about who was who. You feel me? So there's always going to be the little haters. They're going to be jealous. It's called jealousy. It's called people who are hating that always run their mouth and say stupid things. And it could be not even just be on race. They could be, the guy could be short. They can hate on him. The guy could be fat. They can hate on him. The guy could be like, has a weird lip. You know, the haters are a dozen. And today we live in a social media world where people hate. And at the end of the day, how I was raised, there's no such thing as race. We're all human beings. But obviously the divisions, the, the people, the devils made divisions on purpose to conquer. So we're going we're gonna to label it what it is at the end of the day. And that's how people are labeling it. Now we go back to the history of all Hispanics and Mexicans. It goes back all the way to the Moors, to the Spaniards, to the... Um, all the Marias, and at the end of the day, um, like you get all kinds of uh, mixtures from Arab mix to European mix to Native American mix. And when the Native Americans, if you really go in their history, you see them come from Mongolia and everything. So, yeah, man, that's just a little uh, history lesson to you guys who, who are still stuck on some weird things that live in a garage and just um, eat manudo on a Sunday and just. Have never go out and see the real world and see different cultures. It is what it is in Southern California. We represent the right way. And I uh, just wanted to bring up that topic, Lefty A is in Mexican. So I'm going to bring it out. And if he said he was Mexican, that's on you guys to say. And you know what? At the end of the day, even if he said he's Mexican, we're in California. It is what it is. You're in, you should be, people should be understanding. Rather, I'd rather say, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm Mexican than American because this is California. It's how I raised. You feel me? Now, if I was raised in Boston, I might say I'm like kind of American. You feel me? But in California, I was raised in La Puente, West Covina. I think it was 95% Hispanics. Then I moved to Moreno. I think it was like mostly Hispanics again and blacks. So at the end of the day, this is what I've seen. And I'm sure a lot of people grew up in these kind of predominantly areas. All right, another episode of vlogs. Jehovah Mystical Pony sees up in this. Just had to do another topic. If you want another topic to talk about, tap in. Let me know.